Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Shri Fon. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments of Blessing. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. God bless you. God says that you must listen to his friends keenly. He made a confession to them about you. You must listen to his friends very keenly. Because this person made a confession to his friends about you. You see, most, should I say ladies or most people, sometimes we ignore the things that the friends of our partner says, all right? Especially the close ones. But I'm not just talking about one particular friend or if one particular person in a group of persons, because sometimes people can get jealous. Sometimes people can get evil. Sometimes people can get um, um, envious and then start acting in a negative way because they want to destroy what you have. But the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, the truth is established, you know. So so if two, three, four, five of your, your partner's friends tell you something and you ignore, especially if the thing is the same, you're making a mistake. Because somehow our partners, our, the people we are in relationship with or our friends, they will discuss about us to these people, about our likes, our dislikes, or what they are not comfortable with, what they love, all of that thing. If they are serious with us or not, they will discuss it with these people. Somehow, maybe out of frustration or out of concern, they will discuss it with their friends. So you are not being wise if you keep ignoring that. If the Bible says in the mouth of two or three uh, 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 weakness is the truth. No, the Bible says that in 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 the in the of councils, it says in the multitude. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible says in the multitude of councils, a truth is a, a vision is preserved. In the multitude of councils, a vision is preserved. Or where there is counsel, there is safety. You can either of those it's in the book of Proverbs. Where there is counsel, there is safety. So you're ignoring the counsel God is giving you because you're looking for a prophetic word. You are thinking as a prophet that will tell you about your relationship. Whereas these people, God has God has 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 made them, giving them love for you. God has put them in a place where he has made them vulnerable towards you. That they can tell you about this guy, about this girl. But you keep ignoring. Yeah, something you know, it's not it's not right for you to give ears to outsiders about your relationship. But you can use your wisdom and let this be like a form of information to help you. I'm not saying that you let people destroy your relationship. No, I'm saying that there are times when people can tell you something about somebody, his intention towards you, or his motive, or his feelings, or about their complaints. And if if more than four or five people say the same thing, you should listen. Sometimes God sends us wisdom that way to preserve something we have, something He wants to fix for us. And if you keep ignoring, keep saying that, no, my boyfriend is not like that, you might lose that relationship, all right? So listen keenly to his friends. He has made a confession about you to them. He will help you. In the midst of counsel, in the multitude of counsel, there is safety, all right? Yes. Don't go talking to them about your partner, but if they have something to tell you, if they ever open up to you concerning something, the first person says something, just write it down. Take note of it. Keep it in your heart. The Bible says that Mary kept in her heart. She kept in her heart the things that were said about Jesus. Because there's a time that will come that the things of heard, the ones you kept, you can go towards you guys. You can begin to see traces of truth in those things. So just keep noting. The first one says note. The second one says just note. Just note. That one, fourth one. When it becomes fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh, it's no coincidence. You should look at it. All right? Make amendments, fix those things. Sometimes, you see, God hides his wisdom in conversations. God hides his wisdom in conversations. Never forget that. I pray that God will help you. I pray that God will give you the wisdom for this relationship in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.